you might not think the Volkswagen is an obvious choice for a 4x4. This car has a very good reputation for itself with its very large Tuareg, and it's trying to repeat the same trick with this, the Tiguan. This is a compact SUV in the, the Freelander, the RAV4, the Honda CRV market, and uh, for its first effort, I think VWs have done extremely well actually. The big one is very well built, uh, well okay, no surprise there, it's got the VW badge on it, so that's a guarantee of 24 uh, build quality. But even by the standards of the class, which includes things like the Toyota RAV4, um, this does feel incredibly durable. I have driven it off-road this morning, um, <clears throat> it does everything that any owner could possibly want of it. It surprised me actually it's just to the environment it would, would uh, tackle. It's a typical modern SUV. There's always a compromise between designing a car to get be very good on road or off road. Uh, trying to find the happy medium is a hard balance. Volkswagen sensibly has taken the route that these cars are going to spend most of the time on the road, uh, so it is far more road geared than off road geared. It's a very practical, comfortable interior. Um, I like the fact that the rear seats slide fore and aft, they give a bit, bit more leg room or pass all the luggage space as the need arises. There's always a compromise to be had when you're designing an SUV to make it very good off-road or very good on-road, or to try to find some kind of happy medium. VW, sensibly, has taken the approach that the Tiguan is going to spend most of its life on the road, and in that environment it's, it's really very good. The ride is firm, the handling by the sense of the class is pretty good, um, it's a comfortable, refined, practical on-road car. However, I have driven it off-road this morning, um, and although it's, it's not a true off-roader, in the sense of like an old Land Rover or something, I was, uh, I was quite surprised just how well it tackled some fairly rough terrain. Certainly it'll cope uh, with ease with anything that customer is going to throw at it. If you do have off-road pursuits, uh, this has the, the best towing capacity in the class. Uh, it'll take a big horse box and a couple of horses a boat or whatever, and it'll get you in and out of the rough stuff as well. The four-wheel drive is completely automatic, so the driver doesn't need to do anything at all. So if the going does get slippery um, and takes you unawares, the transmission will automatically divert power to the axle of the wheel with the most grip. How often are you going to need it in road using? I don't know. What I do know is that um, if there is ever one occasion when you do need it, then you're glad of it. <laughs>